Christmas will be a more special time of year in 2012 for many Middle Tennessee kids. Thanks to bluegrass duo, the Roys and Tennessee Titan, Rob Baronis. They co-hosted the inaugural Christmas for Kids Celebrity Golf Tournament, which raised over $32,000 for the program. We headed out to the Pine Creek Golf Course in Mount Julia, Tennessee to check it all out. Christmas for Kids things is such a cool program, you know. Anytime we can help out the kids, um, I'm going to be there helping out, you know. We do lots of different charity stuff throughout the year, and this is one of my favorites by far. I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of the other celebrities. I've never met Rob Baronis. I'm looking forward to meeting him and uh, uh, just hanging out with people and having fun. Christmas came early this year. Uh, you know, for us, uh, we've, we've done the bus uh, tour thing in, in December for four years now and uh, always helped out Debbie and Christmas for Kids any way we could. When she approached us about... Uh, uh, you know, co-hosting this this project uh, or th this tournament with uh, Rob Baronis. Um, you know, we we were all for it. We we said if if, if lending our name is going to help raise some money for some kids, uh, we're there. And uh, you know, it's one of those things where we started talking about this maybe six months ago or five months ago, and um, it was one of those things where you kind of go, okay, you know, and and and. We started to see how it was it was coming together, and and about three weeks out, we found out it was already sold out. The golf course even said that they were they were surprised that you know, uh, rarely do do golf tournaments sell out that soon, and uh, to be sold out that quick, just amazing, and a testament to to the people out there that want to help these kids and and. Uh, uh, the celebrities just came out you know we there was none that flat out said no they, they if they were around they, they were going to do it and just in a testament to, to this charity and, and what it's for you know raising money for kids is always a priority for us and very happy to lend our name to that these children are sometimes overlooked um, they aren't going to have a very good Christmas as we are, you know, as normal society used to. And these children live in our backyards, and sometimes we forget about that. Um, they're right here in our communities, and we're able to give them memories that last the rest of their life. We've got now second generations coming back. Children that we took shopping 20 years ago, one of them happens to be my attorney now. So uh, uh, it comes back, and now he's our representative for Christmas for Kids. and. and I've got stories like that, you know, from children being adopted from the chaperone they met that day, um, taken out of a very bad situation and put into a great situation. So um, it's a lot, of, a lot of things behind it other than just Christmas shopping. I think uh, being able to help kids out and have a better holiday, you know, I think we should all do something to help kids out. There's a lot of need in the Nashville area, and, and this is such a great organization, and uh, you always know where the money's going. And uh, if you can make a child uh, have a happier Christmas, that's a wonderful thing. Christmas for Kids has worked with artists for the the last 25 years. So this year we brought in Rob Baronis to try to marry the sports world of Nashville into the music world and uh, it's been great. So yeah, it is something brand new. We we love it. I love working with the athletes too, so it's great. We've all been blessed in this business. I'm very thankful for what I have and I, I try to give back as much as I can. I think it's a big part of what uh, we're supposed to do in life. It's just great to be here, be able to be around such unbelievable people out here and get to play golf. There's a lot of incriminating uh, evidence of me doing illegal things things that Rob Baronis has on me that got me up early this morning to play golf. And that's why I'm here. Now, the real reason I'm here is uh, it, I'm a Middle Tennessean now, and uh, I'm originally from Kentucky, but um, I've been in Nashville for almost 18 years, and this is a great cause. I've heard about it. You know, Christmas for Kids is a is a good deal where you can do anything for kids. You know, I'm a parent, so I understand the importance of, of that time of year, um, giving back to kids that might not be able to have a magical Christmas like we all take for granted sometimes and uh, just really a special time and I'm, I will come running for this kind of event any day. You know anything to do with kids and uh, you know trying to help out I've been very blessed in my life and what I've got to get to do for a living. Um, any Anytime I can uh, have a chance to get to give back and especially hang out with the Roy's they've been uh, they've been big supporters of me so uh, you know we've kind of kind of kept in contact quite a bit and uh, I actually had them on the side of my race car a few times so it's been pretty cool and um, you know I'll do anything to help out kids and especially with the, when the Roy's are involved. We always said no matter what level of success that we would have we wanted to give back. I think that's really really important in anybody's life. I think that's where you really find your true joy is when you give back to someone and our music lo and behold has brought us places we never ever thought it would bring us and you know again today a testament of 
music is a universal thing and, and it helps heal people and if our lending our name to Christmas for Kids is going to help kids, then we feel like we're doing something good and we love giving back. So we're proud to be here. For information about the other things we do, which is the concert we will have in November with Charlie Daniels and with Bill Vassar is already committed and we're actually having a meeting about that next week. So I leave this event, go straight to the concert event, but they can go to our website at www.christmas and it's the digit four kids.org for the other events that we do throughout the year. It's time now for a weekly songwriter tip brought to you by our friends at Nashville Songwriters Association International. This week we sit down with Brent Baxter as he talks about getting noticed. You know, I'd love to be great at everything. I'd love to write great lyric, great melody, play great, sing great and all that, but that's just not me. So what I've learned is if you're great at one thing, if you have that one thing you can really identify yourself as a writer by and really hang your hat on, then that gives you value in the marketplace. It gives a reason for other people to want to write with you because that one thing that you have that you really work on to be great at is the one thing maybe they don't have and that they need. So if you're great at a bunch of things, man, more power to you. But if you're like me, really find that one thing where you can work on to be, go from good to great, and that'll give you a lot of value in the marketplace. You can learn more about NSAI by visiting NashvilleSongwriters.com. That's about all the time we have for today's show, but if you want to enter this week's drawing, we have a couple of those live Dolly Parton sets up for grabs. Just head on over to InsideMusicRow.com to sign up. Now, if you want to get Inside Music Row to go, search for the True Country app and download it today to get exclusive artist features and interviews. We're going to leave you today with Christmas for Kids co-host The Roys and their hit, Coal Mine and Man. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.